Hi students, today I am here to teach you the subject Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics CET203 Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics So in this lecture we are going to discuss about what is the fluid mechanics, what is the concepts of uh, fluid mechanics what are the scope of fluid mechanics, where the concepts of fluid mechanics are being used So here we have the term fluid mechanics. So what is a fluid? A fluid is a word that refers to a matter that can flow. So for example, water, fresh juice is there, milk, that oxygen that we breathe in, CNG and many more examples are there. So while you take a look at the state of matter, they are either in liquid form or in gas form. So simply we can define fluid as a substance in liquid or gas phase is referred to a fluid. Either it can be in a liquid phase or it can be in gas phase. Now we will discuss about what is what is mean by mechanics. Mechanics is a branch of physical science that deals with the behavior of stationary and moving bodies when subjected to forces. So it can be defined as it's an area where the behavior of body is analyzed when subjected to forces. It includes the study of body at rest as well as in motion. So when the body under study is fluid, the body under study is fluid, such a study is referred to be the fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics is the branch of physical science that deals with the behavior of fluid at rest or in motion. So this is further classified into two broad categories depending on whether the fluid, uh, fluid under consideration is at rest or in motion. So it can be classified as if the fluid is at rest, if the fluid is at rest, if the fluid is at rest, then it is called as fluid statics. Here we will study about the concepts of static fluids, the properties of static fluids. If the fluid is in motion, fluid is in motion, then it is called as fluid dynamics. It is called as fluid dynamics. So there are two broad classification First one is if the fluid is at rest and the second one is if the fluid is in motion. If the fluid is at rest it is called as fluid statics and if the fluid is in motion it is called as fluid dynamics. So now we will discuss about what is the scope of fluid mechanics. We have a few examples where the knowledge of the subject is applicable. I'll uh, just write down here. So first one in the case of automobiles. In the case of automobiles we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics in the field of medical science in the field of medical science we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics in piping design that means home pipe networks home sewerage networks we are using piping system we are using this concepts of fluid mechanics or in the system or in the piping design we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics in the case of electric appliances, in the case of electric appliances, we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics. In the case of ships and boats, in the case of ship and boats, we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics. I'll write down here. And also in the case of power and power and process plants, in the case of power and process plants. We are using the concepts of fluid mechanics. In the case of fire and safety, we are using the concept of fluid mechanics. Then in the case of fire and safety, we are using in the case of nature. While considering the nature, there we can, uh, we can see that so many concepts of fluid mechanics have been discussed. And last one, in the case of a sports board, not, not the last one, but in the case of a sports board, we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics. In the case of aircraft, one thing I forgot, in the case of aircraft or in the case of air vehicles, 
we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics so these are the area where we are using the concepts of fluid mechanics and now we will discuss in detail about what are the things that we are going to not study about or what are the concepts what are the important concepts that we are using in this area in detail in the case of automobiles fluid mechanics play a vital role in the design of a car body a body is designed for lower air resistance which is usually measured in terms of drag force one can easily quantify the drag force on a car body with the fundamental knowledge of fluid mechanics the second one is about medical science you know that the flow of blood in arteries and veins in human body is the closest example that represent the importance of fluid mechanics in our life fluid fluid mechanics helps researchers in understanding the behavior of blood flowing through arteries and veins it has a great relevance to the biology of various cardiovascular diseases lot of advanced research is now possible in the medical science with the better understand of blood flow mechanics i repeat blood flow mechanics and like many medical equipments like artificial breather blood pressure measurement device are designed based on the principle of fluid mechanics now we'll discuss about what is the application of fluid mechanics or what is the scope of fluid mechanics in this pipe design design of water and sewage pipe network is not possible without the knowledge of fluid mechanics one must aware the behavior of fluid flowing through a pipe it helps in determining the prediction of energy loss due to friction and pumping power required now we will move on to some electric appliances where this fluid application of fluid mechanics is there there are many household electric appliances where the intervention of fluid mechanics cannot be ignored for example a ceiling fan is designed to circulate the air in the room another such example is the room air conditioner what it is doing which is designed to maintain the temperature and humidity of air we have other examples like refrigerator is there a water water heater is there and many more such examples is there this is how fluid mechanics influence in our day to day life now there is another area in the case of ships and boats the design of water vehicles or the design of these water vehicles would not have been possible without the knowledge of fluid mechanics ships and boats are floating on a surface of water by the phenomenon called buoyancy we have already studied in physics in our plus 2 plus 1 classes which is seen in the fluids buoyancy is the phenomena which is seen in these fluids it also helps in determining the stability of ship or boat on a surface of water like these we have now discussed about this water vehicles rod vehicles fluid mechanics have also a great uh, contribution in aircraft or in air vehicles a simple thing that we can note down is the lift produced in the air vehicle or aircraft gra- greatly depends on the air flow till around the wings of the aircraft the understanding of fluid mechanics has helped researchers to extend and predict the behavior of an actual aircraft from the results of experiments conducted on its scaled down models now we will discuss in what is application of fluid mechanics in power and uh, process plants 
Almost all the power process plants have to deal with the fluids directly or indirectly. That we already know. Around a major percentage of electricity demand in India is met by coal based thermal power plant. There we use water as a medium of transferring heat energy from coal to the mechanical energy of steam turbine which in turn gets converted into electricity via generator. India is sixth largest country in extracting hydro energy from water converting it into useful electrical energy. Hydropower contributes almost 10% of the India's electricity meet which is highest among all the renewable energy sources. Fluid mechanics has its own importance right from the design to the operation of a hydroelectric plant. Now we will discuss the application of fluid mechanics in the area of fire and safety. Fire safety equipment like pump, hose and nozzle are specifically designed to deal with unwanted fire using various fluids. The performance of all these fluids, I repeat, the performance of all these fluids can be studied with the knowledge of fluid mechanics. Now we will discuss some examples that we have seen in our nature. There are numerous applications of fluid mechanics illustrated in nature as well. Like, we have noticed that birds have arranged in a specific pattern while traveling in a group. We have seen a group of birds arranged themselves in a V shape. It has been scientifically proven that the efforts in flying reduced to a greater extent while flying in V shape. Since it uses the vortex shredded by the upfront bird to propel themselves to travel with minimum efforts. Now we will discuss some application in uh, in the case of a sports ball, we, all, we have already heard about the swinging of a sports ball. Have you ever thought about the swing of a cricket ball? Why does it deviates in the air? There is a fluid mechanics behind the swing of a cricket ball. It, it's because of uneven pressure distribution on the two sides of the ball due to the presence of laminar and turbulent boundary layer. The seam of a cricket ball triggers the turbulent boundary layer which helps in an even pressure distribution on both sides which then allows the cricket ball to swing. So the application of fluid mechanics is not restricted to these few examples here. Rather, it is a very wide spectrum of applications in the engineering and as well as in the scientific world. I hope this is enough to trigger you the curiosity and motivate you to learn and understand the concepts of fluid mechanics. So these all, this is all about the introduction to fluid mechanics and the next session we will discuss in detail about the properties of fluids. Thank you.